Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you how to brew the perfect cup of Darjeeling tea. My name is Bidhan and welcome to Darjeeling Tea Direct. Well, as you may know, Darjeeling tea is one of the best tea that our country India produces. Well, there are different ways to do this. Nowadays, teas are being brewed in various manners. But the best thing, as always, the best thing to brew a tea is a teapot. I believe this was what it was invented for. But however, I will be covering at least two different ways to make your tea today. And uh, the other method is using the infusers. When at office, it becomes really convenient to make a good cup of tea with just an infuser. But I'll tell you about more of this. When steeping Darjeeling tea, you have to keep two to three things in mind. The water temperature which is approximately about 95 degrees. Please note it is not to be 100 degrees or over boiling. Over boiling water is not good for tea, especially green tea. It makes it bitter. And the other thing is steeping time. Steeping time should not be more than five minutes. I prefer my teas for about three minutes, but never go beyond five minutes. Three to four minutes is the ultimate time. As I told you, the second method of brewing would be using an infuser. Here I have an infuser. Look at this, it's big and wide. This one's made of clay and uh, it is part of one of my collectibles actually. I really love this one. Otherwise, you can just get one of these. You can easily get them off Amazon. I would say do not use infusers that are very small, especially the pincer infusers or the ones with the little balls. Anything that constrains unfurling of the leaves. The main thing when you are brewing Darjeeling tea or loose leaf tea, the most important thing that you need to look for is the unfurling of the leaves. Today while making tea, we are going to be using a first flush and a second flush. Uh, you will notice that the first flush, there will be a difference in the first flush and the second flush. I will explain that as well. In order to make one cup of tea, just about one teaspoon, which is about 2.5 grams, is enough. Your tea should be approximately about uh, 2 grams to 2.5 grams, not more than that, especially for a cup, especially for one single cup. And for the second one, which we are going to make in a pot, I'm going to use a first flush. So I'm going to make two cups and show you. The reason why I'm making two cups of these is uh, I want to show you how to pour tea evenly when you make it in a pot or when you brew it in a pot. So first, for the second flush, I'm going to be using an infuser. Here I put me, my tea in and then I pour hot water over it. And then I close the lid. This is the second flush that goes into, the, uh, sorry, this is the first flush that goes into the pot. I pour water for about two cups, which is about 400 ml. Close the pot and the timer is on for three minutes. Now, I know that you may, some of you may notice that uh, this one was slightly earlier before I turned this, right? But then it doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, a few seconds here and there, not a problem. When I say three minutes, it does not mean you go back home and you're exactly timing your watch. Whoa, that's three minutes. No, you don't need to do that. Now, in the meantime, while this tea is steeping, I would like to tell you that uh, this is loose leaf tea we are brewing, right? Most of you out there are drinking tea, believing that it's good for you, especially the ones, you might be going out and drinking lots of varieties of teas. There are lots of blends, there are lots of flavors, but I would like to tell you, stay away from the flavored tea, especially like, I'll give you an example. I was at my friend's place recently and uh, he gave me something called the chocolate tea. He asked me to try it out. I did. 
you know what it tasted like? Hot chocolate. Something very similar to hot chocolate. And do you know how the, those kind of teas are made? They take any low grade category of tea and then they spray over it. They spray over it with chemicals, food grade chemicals we call them. So when someone like you is trying to get the best out of a cup of tea and you are drinking something like that, that is not really good. You should really stay away from flavored teas, anything. Whereas, whereas on the other hand, blended teas are different. They actually have actual stuff in it. Like if you say a rose chamomile tea, a rose chamomile tea will actually have rose and chamomile and white tea. This is rose chamomile white tea. Okay, we are just about there with the timer. So here it's been three minutes. I'm gonna take that out and take the second flush out, keep it here. Now when pouring this one from the pot, you should make sure that you pour it evenly. Meaning to say, you see the first cup and the last cup, there is a difference. The last cup will always be more stronger because all the strength of the tea from the teapot, which with the leaves behind, uh, which uh, with the leaves that are left uh, at the bottom, the strength of that will go to the last cup. So what you do is you start with the first cup and then you end with the first cup. Same goes like uh, if you have four cups instead of two, you try to even them out just like that, just like the way I'm telling you. Otherwise, you will find or you will notice that there is a difference in color. It will, it will completely stand out, the first cup and the last cup. The first cup will be very light and the last cup, the last cup will be much darker. Now look at that. I'm sure you can or you are able to see right from there the difference in color. Look at that beautiful golden yellow color on our first flush and look at the dark almost chocolatey color here in the second flush. Look at this. And look at this. I'm going to hold both of them up together. So I'm going to taste this now and I'm going to tell you you must have seen tea tasters doing <laughs> You must have seen tea tasters slurping, right? So what that does is I'll tell you exactly. Mm, it's beautiful tea. The second flush Darjeeling tea always has it's it's famous for its muscatel flavors. Now, why they do this or why, why anyone would want to do that is because you see, you're taking in a lot of oxygen with that slurping sound. And what that does is it helps you with the oxidation of your tea in your mouth, which makes it more recognizable, more flavorsome. You can recognize flavors, the palate goes up, everything becomes much better. That is why the tea tasters do that. And you can try it at home too. In fact, you will notice the difference in just sipping it and actually slurping that tea like that. I'm gonna do the second flush as well. Uh, this is the first flush, sorry. Mm, much, much lighter a lot of vegetal notes mm. this is much lighter you see there is a beauty on each of these teas a lot of people prefer first flush a lot of peop people prefer the second flush a lot of people think that the first flush is actually better than the second flush because it is the first flush. That is not true. The first flush is just uh, the first season or the first harvest of a particular year. So I would like to tell you, this is basically how you brew tea in an infuser and in a teapot. Keep in mind when brewing tea in a teapot that uh, you even the liquid out. 
you even the tea out let them be all of the same color all of you out there watching this video please do not drink these teas with milk or sugar because if you put milk or sugar in them then basically then you're tasting the milk or the sugar in it not the actual tea true tea culture is all about this drinking it in its true form if you want full health benefits from all the things that you have heard about about tea which is absolutely correct drink true natural teas and drink it properly well if you like this video please like and subscribe and we shall make more videos for you and thank you very much this is Vidan once again from Darjeeling Tea Direct see you soon